Saints, two and a half inch reach advantage over his undefeated Brazilian counterpart, Deion Cabral. Here's Bruce Buckley. Ladies and gentlemen, the final three rounds in the UFC of the weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a big fellow artist, only professional artist, four wins, three losses. He got six feet tall, weighing in at 171 pounds and 77.6 kilos. Fighting out of Santa Rosa, California, in the USA, David Bobby Mitchell. And now over to his opponent. Todavía no he tenido tiempo para mirar, pero no he tenido esos días. Voy a recuperar el video de él. Así me distrae de verdad. Vamos a hablar. Esa es la que me ha sido. Cabral stand up game swap. We figured 
who would have the advantage in that department tonight. His timing for his entries on his takedown, Sean, is so good that it almost doesn't need to. And eventually, he's going to have to. You get guys with excellent wrestling who will stop it eventually, but the ball just utilizing the striking. Yeah, so yeah. Sit down, relax. Get back together. Good ride. Just don't use up so much energy. Let's see if he rolls into it. He needs 
sit into it on that and use that left hook to elevate and roll the brawl. There he goes. He has rolled him. Trying to transition the back. Will he transition the arm? No, Cabral. So some high level grappling on display here as we approach the two minute mark in our middle round. Mitchell and Cabral showing why Jiu Jitsu or showing how Jiu Jitsu can be exciting here. No, 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 no. Ah, qué bueno, el entendido. Cabral out of it, now looking for the ground and pound. There's the right hand. And it's just non stop from Cabral. He's not just using Jiu Jitsu, John. What he uses very well is the combinations off of his hands. Opportunistic with his striking as well and using it to set up his offensive jujitsu game. Absolutely. He's keeping it very basic with his striking, but he's setting up his takedowns and everything. Yeah, so no, going for that elbow cross the shoulder lock again. And Cabral in the side control. And perspiration to an issue now in terms of some of these submission attempts. So there to me, I mean, Cabral definitely, he's been working that guard cross, but to me, it looks like Mitchell is really starting to gas here. Look, getting tired. Cabral's pressure just too much here. Mitchell, Mitchell right back to his feet. Cabral brings it right back to the mat. <laughs> 30 seconds now to go in our second round. It has been largely Ian Cabral so far in his official UFC debut. One of four fighters making their UFC debut here tonight in Bobby Reddy. Cabral, very efficient. Excellent takedowns. You see a lot of similar takedowns that are a competitor that we're going to see in the main event, Dave Yamaya. Very similar style to mine. Yeah, I know, Blackie. So more of the same for Yam Cabral here in round two. Huh? has been very dominant in this position. I'm not sure Mitchell really wants to be here. Another right hand from Cabral off the break. So David Mitchell trying to dig deep here and mount some offense and mount a comeback against the unbeaten Ian Cabral. Oh. Beautiful timing. Mitchell looking for those headshots. And you know a guy's going to try to change levels. Again, easier said than done. Way easier for me watching here. But, okay, well, but Mitchell, he's got to attack the body. He throws some crosses to the body. 
And if maybe he catches the ball as he changes levels here, just the ball just is his timing is just too good. Again, Kevin Harris once again in between rounds asking for the tuck of the tongue with that head and arm choke from the brawl. Let's see if he sets it up. Beautiful hit, beautiful passing from Cabral. Just never allowing Mitchell to get settled. Mitchell trying to set up a, a Kimura, a shoulder lock here from his guard. ¿Cuántos takedowns le ha hecho, le ha hecho ¿sabes? Como ha defendido el hijo puta, ¿eh?